Hi guys. Hmm. So I have a confession to make. Yep, I haven't been practicing what I have been preaching. You know how in my hair regimen um, video I told you guys I um, trim my hair once every six months. If you haven't watched that video, you really want to go and watch it. I'll link it down below. So I told you guys I trim my hair every six months, but guys, I haven't been true to myself i haven't so today i want to remedy that and so i'm going to film a video of how i trim my hair in various ways you can trim your hair and all of that if you want to know if you want to see if you want to learn a few tricks and a few facts keep watching and let's get started So guys, we're going to start with why should you trim your hair? Why should you trim your hair? Well, it's not so far-fetched. As we all know, there are some things, some very annoying things called split ends. And when you have split ends, there is no other remedy for it than for you to trim your hands. There is no prevention per se, and the only cure is for you to chop it off so um why that that's why basically we should trim our hands and what harm do split hands pose to our hair it poses a great threat to our hair length and to our hair health so if you want to have lengthy healthy hair split ends are not the way to go you should not associate yourself with split ends and all of that no 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 you should not so if you want to have long LD hair, basically you should what? Chop chop. All right, so there are basically three ways by which you can trim your hands, uh, by which you can take care of split hands. Yes. So the first one is for you to trim your hands, and that would depend on how often you get split hands, and you must have studied your hair well to know if you want to be trimming every three months, every four months, every six months okay so that's one way to do it the other way is to dust your hands like maybe on wash day you see a split hand or something and then you just dust your hands away and all and the third way to do it is, is to search and destroy usually you do the search and destroy method more often than you do the dusting than you do the trim you get so um, if the trim is once in six months you want to do the dust once in two or three months and then you want to go ahead and do the search and destroy maybe once in a month or more often so search and destroy basically is to search each strand of air for split ends and then chop it off that's what the search and destroy is the search and destroy usually takes a longer time but it's the most effective way of dealing with split hands if you can get all of the strands and usually for people with dense hair and all it's i mean it's a lot of work so you usually don't want to do the search and destroy method and the fact that you have to do it more often is just usually not it the dust method is easier than the search and destroy method you just chop it up every time every two or three months and it's usually not a trim per se it's like let's see it's like you just take something oh i don't know let me see if another strand can it's something like this like you just chop this off that's usually the dust method just to dust it off and the trim method is usually when you go to town and cut like an inch or half or one and a half inch of your air so when do you know it's time to trim your hands usually when you have things like this this really round ball when you start getting this really round ball in your hair you know it's time to trim your hair yeah and when you're trying to separate your twists and they keep coming together and the hands 
you know it's time to trim your hands like something like this yeah something like this you know it's time to trim your hands when you're having something like that and um, usually you can manipulate and um, detangle well and all and you still avoid them but it's time to it's time to trim your hands when you start getting those kind of things so what else i'm going to have a picture of the dust method or a video if i get one or a dust method the search and destroy and the trim i'm going to be doing a trim here in this video so i hope you guys can just follow me and learn a thing or two so usually um to trim my hands i usually have my hair in this kind of braids or twists or something like this and um i just take my scissors and go to town with it it's really that simple my hair is moisturized right now i just finished moisturizing my hair so i'm just going to go ahead and take the scissors and chop it up so usually i have my hair in a bun and start bringing it out one after the other guys it's time to chop chop okay so usually to trim your hands let me come closer to trim your ends you want to like just trace it and when you see that ball you chop the whole thing off yeah you chop the whole thing off you don't want to be merciful because i mean what's the point when these things are chopping off your hair and injuring your wood so you just chop it off guys so just go and chop it off so usually that's what i do see look at all this so you just go and chop 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 look at this ball look at this just look i mean it's a lot so chop it off chop it off chop it off like almost every, all of my hair has a that's how you know you're long overdue for a trim so you just chop 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 okay so for the dust method usually when you don't have the old ish so you just dust it off Okay, I see a split end. The search and destroy method is such that you see a split end on one strand and then you just cut that particular strand off with the split end. That's what the search and destroy method is. Okay, so. actually want to look very well and look very carefully so that you just won't chop away healthy hair so So guys, I'm done with everything and usually when you trim your hands like that, you have blunt edges, blunt edges. So how you know you did a good job, blunt edges and all of that and that is how I trim my hands. So guys. I'm expecting that my hair would grow longer than this than it's been growing before at a faster rate and how 
and all and all so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and please make sure make sure make sure to chop this hands off chop it chop it chop it <laughs> I let your hair grow longer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. It will help me. It is free and it will help me. So please go ahead and um, subscribe and make sure to click on the notification bell. By so doing, you become a VVIP. You get notifications whenever I post my videos first. Yeah. So join the VVIP train today and click on that notification bell and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.